This story begins on September 22, 2004, in Sydney, Australia, when 324 people boarded a plane to Los Angeles. Hold the door! Like any flight that day, this was comprised of strangers, among them a doctor and a fugitive, a soldier and a rock star, a con man and a lottery winner, an estranged couple, a single mother-to-be, and a man whose faith was lost. As Oceanic Flight 815 flew high over the ocean, this group of strangers it's normal. was about to be joined together. Don't worry. On a mysterious island. This place is different. Far from home. The pilot said we were over a thousand miles off course. They found themselves on a journey. It's a place where miracles happen. They could never have imagined. We're not alone. They loved. Yes, I love you. And lost. Tilly! They fought. This is our island. And died. <laughs> and after 108 days, I'm one of the survivors of Flight 815. Six people found rescue. Ladies and gentlemen, the Oceanic Six. But the island. Vanished. Sending the friends left behind. Anyone? What the hell's going on? Flashing through time. We're either in the past or we're in the future. Three years passed. And those who came home we made a mistake. were beckoned. I don't understand. He wants us to come back. To return. Nigeria Airways Flight 316. To undo their past. There's a way for you to take it all back. Thank you. Come here and do whatever hell you want. To alter their fate. Get in! I'm not that man. I fell out. Help! To change. I love you, James. No! Their destiny. Are you with me on this? Sayid, are you all right? No. Clara! Sayid! Sayid, please! Stop! Stop! What are you doing? Claire, you had disappeared. He couldn't find you. She did what she had to do. She took air and she can't just do this! This is completely inappropriate. All right. Now, you go over there. I'll deal with you in a minute. Go. You all right? No, I'm not all right. Most believe that what's done is done. You cannot change fate. 
no matter how hard you try. And those who challenge what is destined will always be met with disappointment. This don't look like LAX. For fate has a way of charting its own course. Don't you leave me. It's okay. Don't you leave me. You are alive. I love you. No, you don't let go. I love you, James. No. I love you so much. No. No, no, my God. <laughs> Julian. No. But before one surrenders to the hands of destiny, oh, one might consider the power of the human spirit <coughs> and the force that lies in one's own free will. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on!